Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. We're doing a brisket flat today. We trimmed off a bit of the point. Honestly, it was a pretty gnarly looking brisket. Uh, kind of still had the jockey mark still on it. It wasn't a really great piece of meat, but it was like $44 for a 13 pound brisket. So we're gonna make the best out of what we got. And honestly, that's what barbecue is. Taking a bad cut of meat, making it into something really delicious. So come along, I'm gonna show you how I did it. We're not gonna get too much into the trimming. You've seen one trimming video, you've seen them all. You know us, man, we're doing the snake method over here. I got applewood chunks on it. Um, we started this all about four in the morning and we're looking to probably have it done at about two, three o'clock. Then we can rest it for a while until we get to honestly, until we get just too impatient before we need to cut into it and eat it because I don't ever really let it rest as long as I should. Um, that's not because I don't want to. This is because it's usually smelling so good and I'm so hungry. Uh, so I, we'll see if we can do better with our rest times this time. But come on, it's gonna be fun. Check it out.
I'm going to go ahead on and just take over the audio portion of this video. I don't know what I'm saying over here, but one thing I should be saying is don't just reach your hand into the fire, even if you're wearing gloves. Come on, don't be dumb. This is how you restart the snake if you run out of snake. I think I said like the cook is going a little bit longer than I thought it was, so I need to add a little bit more. The Weber kettle has a little flip up grill lid there, so you can flip it up and you can add more fuel to your fire as it's going and you don't have to remove the whole grate. So don't do as I do and put your hand in there. Just go ahead and flip the grate up and then with some tongs go ahead and position the, the new part of your snake in there. You can add more wood here too if you want. I think I say that like I added this one chunk here but yeah don't just stick your hand in there. That's a great way to get yourself burned even if you have gloves on. All right, nine and a half hours. It's probing super tender. We're gonna take it inside, let it rest for about as long as we can take it before we just need to slice into this brisket here. <laughs> 